Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make physics for Halo C. Now, the first thing I'm going to talk about is what the fuck are physics? Because often people confuse physics and collision geometry. So, collision geometry defines how um, the object interacts with things like players, uh, projectiles, weapons, and th things like that. Meanwhile, the physics uh, define how the object interacts with BSP, scenery, and devices. And, of course, other vehicles. So, yeah. Let's begin. Well, as you can see, I have a modified scorpion right here. I have already made collision geometry for it. So I will start doing physics. First, I will hide all the markers because you must hide them for physics. And Um, you're going to need physics importer, which will be in the description. Now, open an existing vehicle tag. So I will open Scorpion. Scorpion physics. And export it. And now open that file you just exported. This is done. Nope. And as you can see, it <coughs> imported these spheres. And these are the mass points. And yeah, I, you pretty much understand what they do. So. I guess first of all I will select all of them. And now link them to the frame hull. Okay. No, I don't remember if you actually have to link like f threads or something to different frames. That doesn't really change anything as far as I remember. I'll, I will link it anyway, just to make sure. Well, in this case, I guess I don't need to link that here. Um, what you should know is that you cannot animate the physics. Uh, the only animations are the suspension animations which basically just kinda move up and down over and then that there really isn't there is no way to animate the physics okay so now I guess I can delete these things and I will move these things closer just so we would kind of match with the model. And it's much better if you actually make it like precise and move it based on numbers, but right now I really don't care. Okay, 
and uh, you should have as many spheres as possible because right now the vehicle will get stuck in trees and stuff and if you for example copy spheres like that um, the chances of the vehicle getting stuck will be lower but you will um, also have to mess around with animations I think if you do that I don't remember I haven't done this in, in a long time I will just copy, copy this maybe one in the middle it really doesn't matter how you call them they just need to have that hashtag thing in the front Yeah, I guess that's fine. <clears throat> now you can hide the model and unhide your collision because uh, both collision and uh, physics go in the same file. So now just export it. You need to make a folder called physics if you don't have one already and it doesn't matter how you call it. And yeah, now just compile it to physics. Oh, yeah, I did a mistake here. Um, let me delete it. You should never actually make a new physics tag. What you actually need to do is um, oops, find a similar physics tag. So if you have a tank, use scorpion. If you have a flying vehicle, use a bencher something like that and uh, let me find it you need to copy it copy it to the location where your physics will be and rename it now you need to great tag like over the existing one because if you don't do that you will get exceptions as far as I remember and now it deleted those two spheres that I deleted in 3ds max Okay, so these uh, values, you really shouldn't change them unless you know what you're doing. Um, if you actually want to mess around with, with these values, you should use the real-time editor. It really saves a lot of time. Um, if you change math, math uh, you need to recompile the physics tag because Otherwise, it won't change anything as far as I remember. And density, gravity scale, ground friction. 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure you understand what those things mean. Uh, I really don't remember what this does, it's not really important. And then we have mass points, which are the ones you created in 3ds Max. And power mass point. And model mode. Flex metallic. Metallic means that it is made out of metal. If you don't check this, it will have like rubber or something like that. And material. Relative mass. It. If you want to make a mass point heavier or lighter, you need to change this value and relate to this one too. And then recompile the attack because it it will only have an effect if you recompile it. Now friction type. You should only change this for wheels. If you have wheels wheel mass point, you need to make it. Uh, friction type forward. Otherwise, just leave it point. Now, friction parallel skill and uh, I think you should only change this for wheels too. And just look at the Warhawk physics for that, and there is radius, which is obvious. So yeah, that's all. For physics, now let's check if it actually worked. And it seems to work. Yep, it works. So, um, I really don't know what else is there to show. Just mess around with real time editor and stuff. Now, the suspension, for example, is animations thing. Yeah, I guess that's the end of this tutorial thing, kinda, whatever. Wee!